and that I thought the best thing they could do was to leave their sheets at home when they went out to meetings at night and let people see who they were and then they wouldn't be quite so brave and bold and trying to whip people and run people out of the country. And I told them they couldn't beat me for election for the simple reason that I had more votes than they did. They didn't beat me, but the Democrats had to go work and split, and that beat me. The Klan didn't have anything to do with it. Could you tell what happened uh, when you started to leave the, uh, the Klan meeting? Well, when I got through telling these birds what I thought of them, I walked right down through the aisle with them on each side, and, they, and I looked at them and recognized about half of them, and I'd known most of my life. They didn't have the nerves to say a thing or do a thing for me. And then on the way home, I met a carload of my friends coming out to rescue me. They thought these birds were going to try to hurt me or something of the kind. I wasn't afraid of them. At any rate, I turned these boys around and told them to go by on back to Independence. And it's a good thing they didn't get there because I, well, I'm very much afraid that somebody would have been badly hurt. They had shotguns and crowbars and baseball bats and everything else with them, and they were perfectly willing to knock these people into a cocked hat if they'd tried to do anything to me. I wasn't afraid of them. I didn't think they would. I knew they didn't have the guts because a man hasn't got the guts when he has to go to a meeting behind a sheet.